Hello Nidorinas and Nidorinos, I'm King Nido and today we're coming from Viridian City where the Magma are trying to get themselves off the bottom of the leaderboard and to do so they're going to have to end their three game losing streak but to do so they're going to have to take down the Golden Rod Guild who want the victory here because they're currently sitting one place out of a leader's eight position so with that said let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this matchup, will it be the ground types, will it be the normal types, let's go! Right, if the Golden Road Guild win this matchup, they will move from 13th place into a leader's 8 position as they start out with Blissey and the Dunsparce. It is going to be Swampit and Sandaconda starting out for the Viridian Magma and immediately Sandaconda is going to go for the Revelation Dance, focusing in on Blissey here, who's able to tank that move, but Swampit follows it up with the slack off and that is way too early to be slacking off here because you are still at full strength swamp it and this allows Blissey to go for the shore up who itself is trying to restore its health and it is successful having already taken damage from Sandaconda getting itself back to full strength as the dunce pass goes for the metal sound here onto swamp it it is going to lower that special defense a great deal as Sandaconda does respond with the cow tower cleave focusing in on Blissey getting some massive damage this time and swamp it goes for the spit up but it hasn't gone for the stockpile yet so that is also going to fail and this allows Blissey to respond with the Aromatic Mist helping out the Dunsparce here by boosting that special defense and the Dunsparce does follow it up by going for the Bulldoze and it puts its own teammate Blissey into knockout range lowering the speed of everybody on the field except for itself obviously giving itself speed control and it is going to set up the sky attack so the Dunsparce does become cloaked in that light as those wings take flight into the sky. Sandaconda goes for the Poke Buzz, not finishing off Blissey, instead going for the Dunsparce here and Swamp It is going to go for the Rapid Spin. They have switched their attention. Instead of going for the easy elimination of Blissey as that speed boost for Swamp It, Blissey is going to go with the Giga Turn Hammer, bringing it down onto Swamp It, which is not very effective, doing very little damage as Swamp It now with that speed control responds with the Metal Claw to take Blissey out of this match. Up, giving the Verde Magma the early lead, but that Sky Attack is going to be finished off by the Dance Pass, going for Sandaconda, who is going to be able to respond, but it flinches, that could be crucial as out onto the field does come Snorlax for the guild, but Swamp It immediately trying to meet it here with the Veno Shock, which Swamp It is able, uh, sorry, which Snorlax is able to tank as the Giga Drain from the Dance Pass, super effective. Taking the last of that strength from Sandaconda and restoring the health of itself. Sandaconda has been taken out of this matchup as the Dunsparce does enjoy that restored health. Another Gigaton Hammer this time from Snorlax onto Swampert. Yet again, not very effective though, as now out comes Toad Scroll for the Viridian Magma and Swampert is going to go for the Night Days here. Onto the Dunsparce, very little damage. Who does respond with the Endeavor? Everybody's on the offensive, going for Toad Scroll. Swampert follows it up with the Shift Gear. It's going to boost its speed. Paper is also going to boost its physical attack in the process that is only sorry that is only it is base 110 as it's on the receiving end of the spark from toad school but now snorlax has speed control this speed snorlax with the extra sensory takes swamp it out of this matchup putting the golden rod guild in the lead and the duns pass follows it up with the power split it can only focus in on Toad Scroll here, sharing the target, the power between the two as Toad Scroll responds. We see another Bulldoze here. Critical hit there on two Snorlax, lowering its speed that has been boosted and lowering the speed of the Dunsparce as well. As now out comes Golem in. It's a Lolum from the Terrastal Drafty for the Viridian Magma. And it has been having a great showing for the Magma so far. And it needs to do it here as the guild are currently up with five Pokemon remaining, only four Pokemon remaining for the Magma. But it is Snorlax still with that speed control going for the circle throw. It's going to send Toad Scroll back to the bench, but not up, not before doing some massive damage to it there. And it is going to be Garchomp being dragged out onto the field here as Golem is going to respond for its side with the Smart Strike. It is not going to miss its target here, but Golem, uh, Snorlax is able to hang on being put into knockout range. The power trip from the Dunce Pass doing very little damage here to Golem as Garchomp is going to go for the Echo Voice to try and take Snorlax out, but it's able to hang on by a thread and it responds with the Self Destruct. And Snorlax held on to take itself out, but it takes out everybody else with it, including the Dunce Pass. But this could be massive because Garchomp, it is a one hit wonder, has been taken out of this matchup. Golem has been eliminated as well. The guilds still have the 3 2 advantage as that is an empty field. Toad Scroll returns to the field. It is going to be Screamtail coming out for the guild. The last Pokemon for the Magma is Torterra. 
and it is gonna be Porygon Z with that download ability boosting its special attack, joining Screamtail as the guild have sent out their own Terrastal Drafty. It takes on this normal type in here, and it has that 111 base speed, so we should be expecting it to move first here on this field. As Porygon did get that boost, that 135 special attack, the flatter from Screamtail onto Toad School. It is going to leave it in a confused state after boosting that special attack. This base 80 here, it needs to avoid doing damage to itself. But first, Porygon Z is going to go for the super power to finish it off. Anyway, Totera is all by itself. That physical attack of Porygon Z has been lowered as well as that physical defense. And Torterra needs to go on the offensive here, immediately going for the side strike on to Porygon Z, getting in some great damage there as well, but Screamtail is going to go for the mighty cleave onto Torterra, not very effective, it is able to withstand that, but there is the steel roller follow up that is unfortunately going to fail for Porygon Z, and this allows Torterra to try and capitalize, going for the dynamic punch, but Porygon is able to avoid that attack, and this allows Screamtail to go for the Fire Lash, capitalizing on that part grass typing of Torterra, super effective, lowering its physical defense in the process as well, and Porygon Z follows it up with the Forest Curse, but that's going to fail because it already is a part grass type, and this allows Torterra to once again try and capitalize, going for the Icy Wind, but Porygon Z avoids that attack, however, Screamtail is not so fortunate. It is going to have its speed low, but surely still has speed control. In fact, it is Porygon Z, and it's going to thrash up the out here on the field. Torterra is able to hang on by a throw, but Screamtail goes with the Weather Ball. And capitalizing on its normal typing, this should surely finish off Torterra, and that it does to hand the fourth loss in a row to the Viridian Magma, and with that, the Golden Broad Guild have actually just gotten their second victory in a row, and in doing so, this will move them up into the Leaders 8, into ninth place, in fact, that is how close these positions are here on the leaderboard next round. They will be going up against the Montana Vera Silks. Whereas for the Magma next round, they are going up against the Verbank Plasma. They need to get it together. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.